Well, as per usual, it appears that we have a few more new news about Gulf War Zombies or COD 2024 Zombies. Essentially, the next hopefully good mode of zombies because it is completely made by Treyarch and it is going to have round based zombies if you were wondering. In today's video I want to kind of go over some brief leaks and news that we have gotten over the past few days. There's one brand new thing that has been leaked that is very fascinating and it kind of goes over a tweet from Vondi is Pog, very cool name or Undead Vondi. I will link all of this down in the description. And they went over the five main resource stations in Gulf War Zombies and I think it's really interesting because there's also some descriptions of them obviously they will be very similar to what we have had in the past but it's just the way they've kind of like re-innovated the way these will be working and how they kind of improved upon them. So the first one up that we have is the perk machines and their wonder fizz. The wonder fizz will be coming back. It's essentially going to be giving us all of the perks that we had in Cold War Zombies from what I've been seeing. And as of right now, there is no rumors of brand new perks, but there will most likely be at least a new one like Widow's Wine because there was leaked art for that. And unless they just come up with a random art for stuff and for some other reason bring back one like Widow's Wine, I don't see why it wouldn't come back. It probably won't exactly look like this image that you're seeing but it will most likely be returning i can also kind of back this up because we had phd flopper or well it was phd flopper and tombstone like pins leaked back before cold war zombies came out or at least around the same time and those ended up becoming true we got tombstone and phd slider not phd flopper just because they didn't have the flopping ability so we probably will be getting like every single one from modern warfare 3 zombies like specifically modern warfare 3 because we have phd flopper in it i really hope that they take that perk and kind of give it slider as well if drag zombies will have the two additions in it i did actually prefer slider the more that i thought about it i was always like oh phd flopper so cool honestly sliding is so much more effective a totally different story but yeah we're getting perk machines and all that which is cool and all probably gonna be cans then we move on to the Pack-A-Punch machine, and it's probably going to be the exact same like we have seen in the past three other Zombies iterations from like Black Ops 4. So it's going to look like the one from Cold War Zombies, Vanguard, and Modern Warfare 3. And it probably won't be like Modern Warfare 3 Zombies where you have to like go into different zones to get different abilities. But it will be upgrading your weapon's firepower and equip various elemental ammo mods. So we're seeing those coming back inside of the Pack-A-Punch machine. I'm a huge fan of that. I don't really like the way Modern Warfare 3 Zombies has it. They kind of don't feel also as powerful, so hopefully they make them a bit better. But the next one is where I think stuff gets a bit interesting. We're going to be getting a tool grinder. That's the way it's described. Here's an image of it, and it increases your loadout weapon's damage potential. In my opinion, or at least from what I'm understanding, this is most likely going to be where you upgrade your weapon's rarity. So the way we had it inside of Cold War and other games, this is going to be the thing that you walk up to, and you can just upgrade your weapon from gray to green to blue to purple to gold gold or whatever rarities they want to have in it it's kind of a really smart addition and it will be a bit of a more of a pain to run around the map whatever zombies round base map there is or whatever else they bring out to upgrade your weapon but i kind of like that they are splitting these up and i think it kind of makes more sense than running up to a random dummy but we are going to actually be getting the dummy back it is called the arsenal and you'll be able to craft upgrade and repair armor for damage reduction so this is where i'm also kind of like wait so is the tool grinder what i think it is because this does say it's going to allow you to upgrade now obviously over time stuff can change so maybe the tool grinder will be like upgrade your weapon like with an addition of double tap onto it in a sense like they're not gonna bring back double tap we don't exactly know i'm not saying anything i know double tap is like one of those perks that everybody wants to see coming back obviously if it does come back it will not be like the good old double tap that we know mainly because double tap is essentially inside of your pack a punch machine and also with the rarities so who knows how the tool grinder will 100% work but i am a huge fan of the dummy coming back i do like the addition of being able to just repair your armor so i don't know if we're gonna have armor plates like you know the warzone style we definitely will have armor back in some capacity and lastly we're going to have a crafting table the good old thing is coming back you're going to be able to craft various things from equipment score streaks and probably like just self revives which is a huge one so i do really like the addition of that now now, one of the really cool things that I didn't mention, but also Undead Vondi did say, we are going to be seeing the 
return of the knuckle cracking animation whenever you pack a punch your weapon so this is where stuff gets interesting will your pack a punch weapon just kind of automatically show up after that animation or are we going to be seeing the similar system that we had like since black ops 4 not in the game where your weapon disappears your character cracks their knuckles and then you have to wait until it finishes i do like that addition just because it always made pack a punch your weapon a bit more risky whereas now since like cold war it was like oh i'm gonna run up pack a punch and be good within seconds it is nice but also there's just that bit of added difficulty to it and one of the last things i want to go over today is one of the big concerns that i've been seeing and that is that there's going to be portals back inside of the game where you're going to have like the main hub area and teleporting to different locations one thing i'm going to say is don't worry about this if you have heard it i doubt they're going to make us play a similar style of a game mode like we did have in vanguard that just didn't work it failed the game i seriously do not think that's going to be a thing and since we did have like round base actually come out in vanguard zombies we are going to be getting that but this could mean two different things we are going to have a hub area like that we can literally just chill in like we did have in world war ii zombies or the most likeliest one in my opinion outbreak is going to be making a return which i would be surprised if it wouldn't so we did have an outbreak kind of like this hub area at least once you finish the game or they're going to be implementing outbreak stuff with the vanguard stuff and i think that is genius give us round base and then dabble in your side stuff whatever you want to do treyarch like seriously i really did enjoy the way outbreak worked and i think they messed up way too much with vanguard zombies they could have made that so much better but they for some odd reason just prioritized it i don't think they should they should go after it equally 50 50 prioritize round base as much as you want to prioritize your second kind of attempt at a zombies experience i did love outbreak and i do really enjoy mono for zombies even though the game is just there's just not enough for me to do am i satisfied with the amount that i got to play in it hell yeah but right now the reason i'm not making content is just because there's nothing for me to do i don't want to make the exact same content that every other content creator makes where it's like this weapon's not the best weapon in the game everybody's doing that or at least most of the content creator for mono for zombies i'm just sitting here chilling playing other games dabbling in other channels and just waiting for pod 2024 to come out but yeah that's it for the video just wanted to go over that do not worry, I do not think that they're gonna, like, not do round base. It is essentially confirmed by Lakers, and I do not see Treyarch working for years on something that's gonna be just disappointing. I think I am just trying to find a coping mechanism as well. So, that's it for the video. Just more stuff to talk about. I'm gonna try to just make as many videos, updates, and stuff like that on COD 2024 Zombies, because I'm hella excited. Did I just say hella? Yes, I did. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.